Hey folks, have you ever noticed that getting high rolls on certain items or affixes like the prismatic gaze or percent mana idols and so on can be more difficult than it seems like it should be? Well, today I'm going to talk a little bit about why I believe that might be happening and what I believe is going on behind the scenes in the last epoch item calculations. Now, full disclosure, this is all what I've gained from testing and offline and my own understanding of how the items work there. There's not a guarantee that this is the same for online, but based on my own importing of online characters using Last Epoch Planner, which does seem to be pulling data directly from Last Epoch, and my understanding of offline using the character data files, this does appear to be the same. So let's jump right into it. If you've ever imported a character into Last Epoch Planner and looked at the items, you might have noticed that some of the details in the character sheet don't end up matching. So what I mean by that is if you go to your character and, for example, you look at the spell crit in the character sheet, you'll notice that in some of the items, there's actually decimal places. So here you can see the prismatic gaze says 3.51% plus base crit chance. When you look at the item itself, it says plus 4%. Now, I did a significant amount of testing in offline by generating items that were 3.49, which in the game shows as 3% and 3.5, which shows as 4%. And I have been able to confirm that when the game says it's 3%, so it's rounding down from 3.49, it is actually 3%. And when it says 4% from rounding up from 3.5, it is actually 4%. So what you see in the game for these particular items does appear to be correct. However, there are some implications of what this could mean for rolling items or their chance to drop with certain certain rolls and so on. Uh, so I'm going to dig a little bit into that and try to explain what I think is going on. So for those of you who've looked at character files or have done any programming in the past, this is what the character data looks like. And you'll recognize there's a bunch of different values here. There's a bunch of integers that represent the roll ranges on items and different things about your character. What is happening here is that each roll on an item is represented by a number between zero and 255. The reason why 0 to 255 is chosen here is probably because it can be represented in one byte. Your next question might be, how do you go from a 0 to 255 number to an actual value that you would see on an item like prismatic gauge that is between 2 and 4? Well, that's actually fairly easy if we do some math. So let's say you have a 250 roll, and we'll divide that by the max roll, so 255, and that gives us 0.98. So that is our roll percentage. And then you take that number and you multiply it by the size of the range. So in this case, it's two to four. The size of the range is two. So multiply this by two. So 1.96 is how high we are in the range. So then you add that to the minimum. So in this case, it is two. So we'll do plus two. And there we go. 3.96, that is the roll of your prismatic gaze with a 250 out of 255 roll. What that means is that for all the data stored for all these items and the roll ranges is when it's in the back end represented as 0 to 255, and then you load that data in the front end, you're looking at values being parsed into something that the user can read and the game can use for calculations. You might not be seeing why this is a problem or why this is weird. If you were to take, for example, a, we'll say a 0% roll is the bottom. So this equals a 2% crit prismatic. And a 100% roll, so 100% roll, would be a 4% crit prismatic. If we extrapolate that a little bit, you could say that a 50% roll would be a 3% crit prismatic. But what about a 25% roll. Where does this end up being? This would be exactly 2.5. So what happens with 2.5? Well, I tested, I went in offline and I generated these items and a 2.5 is represented as a 3%. What about a 74%? Well, that's represented in game as 3.49, which shows as a 3% as well. For an item that can roll between 2 and 4%, from 0 to 24%,
you get 2% from a 25 to 74% range, you get 3%. And then from a 75 to 100%, you get four because of the rounding and the way they get rounded into three possible integers. In this case, the 3% crit prismatic gaze is actually twice as likely to appear in game than a high roll 4% or a low roll 2%. And this actually ends up being a pretty big deal because for things like base crit, you really, really want to have as much as possible. There's very limited places that you can get this stat. And if you're farming for a 4%, that means that instead of the expected 33% chance to get this item, you're actually only working with a 25%. The flip side is that the bottom roll is also less likely, but this you can see why this would still potentially be a little bit weird or a little bit problematic. And the same is true too for things that aren't represented as percentages. So for example, a intelligence roll that could be 13 to 16, that's still represented by a 0 to 255 in the back end, so as one byte. And in the same way, anything that gets uh, parsed from the, that value, that integer value, into the number between the range that you want, anything that would be 15.5 uh, would get rounded to 16. And then in that case, so say you want your, your high roll intelligence that can be uh, can roll between 13 to 16. That means that uh, anything that is 13 all the way to 15.49 is bad. This is not what you want. So that actually means that for getting high rolls, your window of having a good outcome is much smaller. Another example I've heard people talk about a lot is how seemingly rare a perfect health stout idol is. And this ends up being a really good example because of how large the roll ranges are. So if you don't know, a stout idol, so the one by two, the health roll for the added health can roll between 11 to 30, and the percent health can roll between 2% to 5%. So what you would actually expect is that the valid values would be this. So 5% chance to get a 30 roll out of 20 possible values. And this for the percent health roll, so a 25% chance for the max 5% roll. If you take the 5% chance to get the 30, multiply it by the 25% chance to get the 5, that would be a 1.25% chance to get a max roll stout idol. So that's what you would expect. What it actually ends up being is this. So 2.35% chance for a 30 flat life roll and 16.67% chance for a 5% life roll. If you multiply those together, you get 0.39% chance for a perfect idol. So that's a pretty big difference between what you would expect of 1.25, and what actually ends up happening of a 0.39%. And that's why these idols specifically are so ridiculously rare. And it's actually even rarer than this because you first need to get those affixes in the first place before it can even roll with the ranges. So if you were ever wondering why a perfect life stout idol is so rare, there you go, that's why. That's pretty much all I have to go over for today. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, it's a little bit of a math video. And yeah, if you like this sort of video, please leave a thumbs up and I'll make more. Cheers.